Hey everybody, welcome back to Live to Fish, and this is part three of the three-part series of how you can land more fish from the bank in 2022. Now this bait recommendation is probably not a surprise to anyone, nor is it going to be something that you haven't seen before. It's the good old tried and true spinnerbait. Now there is something about the good old spinnerbait that you may not know, and there's something that you can add to it to make it more attractive to the fish. And this tool is not only useful for using on the spinnerbait, it can be used in a lot of different other applications. Now the tool I'm about to show you to enhance your spinnerbait may be something you've seen before, but hey, maybe not. But I guarantee you I'm gonna show you a new trick that you haven't seen anywhere else. And that's coming up only here on Live to Fish. Welcome back again to Live to Fish. Appreciate you stopping in. For those of you that are new to the channel, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell to let you know when Live to Fish puts out new videos. And for all of you newcomers that have recently subscribed, thank you so much for the support. And if you found your way here because of the 500 subscriber giveaway for the bait casting reel, I hope you stick around for a thousand. I guarantee you're gonna be very pleasantly surprised at the giveaway for the 1,000 subscriber mark as well. Again, this is part three of a three-part series on how you can catch more fish from the bank. I could go on and on about spinner baits and all the different types of blades that are attached to them, all the different types of trailers you could put on, and there's the key, trailers. By itself, the spinner bait is an absolutely outstanding lure. I guarantee you that outside of the plastic worms and stick baits, this is probably one of the most common lures that people start out on when they go from live bait to artificial baits. And one way you can make spinner baits more attractive to the fish is to add one of these. And this is a spinnerbait trailer hook. Now, it works well for spinnerbaits. Maybe you've seen this technique before. Maybe you haven't. I'm going to show you how to put this on a spinnerbait. And I'm also going to show you a couple of hacks that may help you out with some other baits. This by far is one of the most affordable presentation hacks that you can do. Right here, this package right here costs under $4. So for $4, you get 10 hooks, you get the tubing. And this is very versatile. It does more than just work for spinner baits. And I'm going to get into that in just a second. So sit back and relax as we go ahead and take a look at how you can improve your spinner bait presentation and also how you can use this package to improve some of your other presentations as well. So don't go anywhere. Let's get rolling. Head over to the workbench. All right, here we have the spinner bait, and this is just uh, in its natural state. You have the blades that are going to agitate the water. It's going to attract some fish, and you've got the exposed hook. Now, a lot of people will put a swim bait, they'll put a soft plastic, something on there as a trailer um, in the form of a plastic or soft plastic bait. And that makes for a little bit bigger presentation, but I'm going to show you something that's going to help you extend that hook set out a little bit, and it's going to bring more surface area for that fish to bite and more surface area for that fish to hook themselves. All right, here we are with the spinnerbait trailer pack and I've taken out one of the one out hooks here and the tubing. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hook, take the tubing and we're gonna slide that tubing right on the eye of the hook like this. It's just a little bit of force. You gotta be careful you don't stick yourself with that hook. Now, once it's covering the eye of the hook like that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim that off right at the base of the eye. Okay, so now we created like a little seal around that eyelet. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our trailer hook, we're gonna take that eyelet with that rubber tubing on it, and we are going to place that through the main hook. Now, that tubing is going to do two things. One, it's going to secure that hook on there so it doesn't slide up and down. It's also going to make it so that it's a little bit stiffer sliding from side to side. Now, you can see how this one simple modification has really extended the surface area for that fish to strike. Now, you could put a creature bait trailer on the back of here. You could add all kinds of different things, um, or you could just leave it as is. But this right here is a surefire way to get more hookups on your spinner baits. Now here's how you can use that same bit of equipment to help your soft plastics stay in place on a Texas rig presentation. Now here we have the Bandito bug on the EWG hook. We've all had it after a couple fish strikes where after a couple catches this thing starts sliding down, starts getting torn up a little bit. So you got to text pose it, you got to stick that hook back into the bait to try to keep it from sliding up and down on the hook. Now here's a hack you can use with that same tubing you got from that spinner bait trailer package and that's to take a little chunk of it 
throw it right onto that EWG hook, slide it down into the middle. Now, when you do that Texas rig presentation, you'll notice something. You can use that to butt it right up against the lure just like that. Now, once you've got it butted up against that soft plastic, it's not going anywhere. I can press down on this and it's not sliding. It's holding it. It's going to hold it in place. Now, it will move over time, but here's another hack that I'm going to show you that you can use other things that you have in your boat, on the yak, in your bag, whatever it may be, to help you do this same technique. Now, here I'm going to use an old rubber grub and I'm just going to pinch off a piece of it. You may have some stiffer stick baits, um, some other lures. I wouldn't recommend, say, like Z-Man products or some of the softer soft plastics, but something that's a little more rigid. You can throw that on the hook and use that as a stopper. It's working under the same principle as, say, the bobber stop or anything else. It's just going to kind of stop that from moving. It's going to create a little tension on that hook, and it's going to keep that bait from moving down. So there you go, another soft plastic hack from Live to Fish. Now, here's one more way you could use the spinner bait trailer hooks on soft plastics on a Texas rig. Just take your spinnerbait trailer hook, pop that right onto the same hook you're using for your soft plastics and your Texas rig presentation. And what you have is a trailer hook. So you can see the soft plastic now has the stopper that it would have uh, to keep it from moving up and down. And it does have a trailer hook now to where, and I'm sure you've all experienced this, where you've had appendages nipped off these suckers. This is going to stop that and it's going to give them a hook to land on. Now, it's not a weedless presentation because you can see here the Texas rig weedless. That's fine. This is not going to be weedless back here. This is something you'd throw early spring, late fall, sometime when uh, the grasses are either not grown in yet or they've died off. So there you have it, a quick trailer hack for your soft plastics. So there you go. For under four bucks, you have a presentation that you could put together for improving your spinnerbait hookups. Just add that trailer hook on there. You can use some of the same material to secure your soft plastics on your Texas rig, or you can use it to add a trailer hook onto your soft plastics. Now, I got to tell you, that last one is either going to be an absolutely ingenious trick or it's going to be a complete failure. But I got to be honest with you, you can obviously tell it is the slow season. It's winter. I am going absolutely stir crazy and I'm coming up with all kinds of nutty ideas. But hey, if Saskatchewan Fisher can do it with Legos and if he can do it with a pool noodle, pff, what do you got to lose? But then again, his were tested out on the water. So that's something that I'll have to do next season. So go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Do you think that that trailer hook will actually work on the Texas rig? I happen to think it will. That concludes our three-part series. Thank you so much for stopping in. Coming up next on Live to Fish, we have some bait casting combo reviews. You don't want to miss that. So until next time, be safe, be well, and as always, Live to Fish. Take care, everybody.